When I first started this journey and thought of bus life, I envisioned parking out in the middle of nowhere, all alone, surrounded by beautiful mother nature, and just enjoying the slow life. And I think that's what most people think about when they think of van or bus life. Getting to travel and experience these extravagant rural locations. But there's a huge side of nomadic lifestyle that I didn't expect. For me, part of this journey is figuring out where one day I want to land or settle down. And knowing myself, I need to be in a city. I am not the girl that wants to live out in the farm in the middle of nowhere on the side of a mountain. (laughs) I want to be where things are happening, sporting events, weekend activities. But it's also important that I am in close proximity to nature for weekend getaways. I spent a lot of time doing bus life in cities, and today I'm going to take you along. Good morning, guys. We are just waking up. It is 7.06. Um, I'm going to show you guys today what it's like in a city. We've been living in Denver for two weeks now. Today's a weekend. Uh, weekends are nice for me because I don't have work and I have so much extra time to do fun things. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, but I've got a really busy day with the things that I have planned. So it, I've got to get up, get going. Right, Hancho? He's got to go out soon. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're going to get up, get our day going. And let's do it. Right. Right. Oh, you're so sleepy. Oh my gosh, you're so sleepy. Stretch it out. <laughs> Stretch it out. Good morning, Hanchito. Hanchito. <laughs> you ready? Oh. You stay here. You stay. Let me get up first. No! Okay. There's that. All right, good morning. I am up, I am dressed. I've got my morning co- or morning tea. Um, Honcho and I are just hanging out outside right now. Uh, the bus is parked right there, uh, and this is a dog park for this like condo community. Um, considering it's right next to the highway, it was fairly quiet. I I know you probably hear cars now and you're like, Diana, you're literally crazy. Uh, No, in the bus, I couldn't hear anything. And obviously at night, traffic is died down. It's about 7.30 now, so traffic might start picking up a little bit. Um, But I've slept here two nights and it's been great. I'm not going to sleep here tonight. I'm going to sleep somewhere else tonight because I'm going to a different side of town. Um, But it was just nice to have this dog park right here for Honcho just to kind of roam around off leash. Uh, We threw the ball a little bit yesterday, um, so that's been nice. But I'm going to go take him for a walk now because I need to like force him to get exercise because he's going to be in the bus a lot today for what I have planned. So it's just a lot going on that he's going to be in the bus. So any moment that I can take him for a walk and get him some exercise, I need to take advantage of that. So we're going to go for a walk now. Just got to 
to Soul Cycle and I found street parking. That the bus can fit in. Three hour limit. Soul Cycle starts in 12 minutes. I was worried about finding parking, but there's so much street parking in downtown Denver, so this is good. Um, and I usually find like an end meter one so I can kind of overhang a little. I'll show y'all in a minute. Um but yeah, now I'm gonna go to Soul Cycle, open some more windows for Hanji. just finished working out at Planet Fitness. I took a shower, feeling good. It got myself all cute. Okay, let me show you the fit. Hold on, let me stand it up. Okay, white crop top, little jean shorts, uh, high socks, white Air Forces. That's it, that's the fit. Ugh. And um, now I'm about to go pick up some Starbies and um, get my little frappuccino, like a basic girl. <laughs> and then um, I'm going to the zoo. Uh, my reservation's at 1.30, which is in 30 minutes, 32 minutes. Um, it's right down the street, but I'm also starving. All I've had today was one protein waffle and, with lots of protein though, because I added protein powder too, um, and an apple, and I've worked out three times today. I did burn boot camp, soul cycle, and ran two miles on the treadmill. So now I'm headed to Starbucks. We're gonna go to the zoo. I'm gonna make some lunch once I get there. Walk Honcho again for his third walk of the day because he's in the bus a lot today. But after the zoo, there's a park there. So I'm gonna take him to the park so we can throw the B-A-L-L. -L. I'm not gonna say it out loud because he's gonna hear me. He's back there sleeping. I don't know if you can see him back there. There he is. Um, but yeah, so he's gonna get lots of energy today, so don't worry about him, he's doing great. Um, but yeah, so let's go get Starbucks, let's go to the zoo, and make lunch. Let's do it. Guys, I just wanna brag about my freaking parking job. Let me just show you. This parking lot is packed. And I was stressing out because the spot was kind of small and there were so many cars lined up and I backed into this literally without a backup camera. I didn't even have a backup camera and I did it all by myself and I didn't even have to get out and like check. Like I just whipped it right in here. So I'm proud of myself, but I just ate lunch. I'm about to go in. Um, it's like 1.50 now. So my time was at 1.30. So hopefully it's not like a harsh start type thing. So let's go to the zoo. sad as soon as I got here the elephant kind of walked towards the back to where I can't really see it and I was like a minute late when I was walking up I could see its butt walking back away and now it's just kind of wandering back and forth in the back so I don't really get to see the beautiful elephant I'm so sad and it seems like it's gonna start raining soon so this is just turned into not a great day at the zoo. The one animal I come here to see, I don't really get to see, so. <sighs> oh well. Guys, I'm actually crying. I didn't know there was this back spot, and the elephant is just right here. <laughs> I'm so happy. He keeps pacing back and forth and like posing. It's amazing. Ah. Say hi. 
Okay, oh my gosh, I went from being completely disappointed to so freaking happy. This zoo has like five elephants that you could be super close to. I just didn't walk around to the part that I should have. Um, so I'm so happy, but it's starting to rain and now there's thunder and I'm not even halfway through the zoo, so I'm gonna keep powering through. Um, hopefully the animals will still be out and stuff, but I'm just so happy about the elephants. Oh my God, guys, I love elephants. If you don't know, I have a huge elephant tattooed on my back. They're like my favorite animal. So I just made my day. <laughs> but let's keep powering through before it starts downpouring. craziest thing. I just saw the zookeeper clap his hands, call the hippo by his name, and he just got out of the water and he said come he called the hippo's name and said come inside and the hippo just got out of the water and came inside like a dog. They literally have him trained like a dog. He just came when he said come inside. It was so crazy. Wow, that was amazing. guys zoo day is over it is four o'clock the zoo is technically closed but all the animals are going back in now um, so I'm gonna get out of here and take Concha to the park that's like right around the corner just to throw the ball for a little bit get some exercise because he's been in the bus all day even though I've taken him on walks he's been in the bus all day and I still have one more thing to do today that he's gonna be in the bus I'm going to the Colorado Rapids soccer game tonight um, that's in like three and a half hours so um, we're gonna go back to the bus and just chill together and chill outside um, and hang out so I'll meet y'all at the park Quiet park tonight. Um, 
just settling in for the night. And so thank you guys for watching this video and coming along with me for bus life in a city. I know it's different from what most people share, um, but it's a huge part of my life. And so I'm happy that I was able to kind of show you a day in the life of bus life in the city. Although I did do a lot more than I normally do in a day. Um, so not all days are as exciting as this one, but it was a fun day, easy going. It was easy in the bus. Denver is very bus friendly in terms of like parking and just navigating. Um, so that's always good um, because when that's not the case, it can be harder and more difficult to do bus life in the city. But so far I've had no problems uh, parking, navigating, spending the night places. It's been pretty smooth sailing. So that's all for this video, guys. I will see you guys here next week on Sunday. Bye, guys.